What's up fam? This your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you Negroes today. New details have emerged into the Diddy lawsuit after leaked audio exposed him and Meek Mill. And in that leaked audio, you can clearly hear Meek Mill screaming while Diddy is just pounding on him. And I heard the audio. I'm going to play it for you guys, but I must say viewer discretion is advised. Because I heard the audio last night. I ain't been asleep yet. I swear to God. I'm traumatized. Because it's one thing to hear about Meek Mill and Diddy. But to hear it, oh man, that just turned my stomach. My world was turned upside down. Everything is not what it seems. Because I'm looking at Meek Mill. Always portrayed himself as a gangster. I'm a thug. I got the semi-automatic. You play me, I'm going to spray it. But to hear him allegedly howling at the top of his lungs while Diddy is just having his way with his ass, oh, that was heartbreaking. I'm going to play it for you guys. I'm sorry, because everybody's saying this is the audio of Meek Mill and Diddy Affair. And I don't like rumors being spread, so we're going to get to the bottom of it today. I'm going to play the audio for you guys. We're going to listen to it very closely, and we're going to determine, is it Meek Mill, and is that Diddy we hear in the audio? But first, let me play this clip of Meek Mill ex-bodyguard saying why he recorded that audio. Let's go. All the champagne was spiked, son. Like, all the champagne was spiked. Everybody was passed the f out. I don't drink. I don't drink, so I was playing that shit off. Like, I don't fucking drink. I smoke, nigga. Like, I smoke and I had my own weed, but, like, everybody was passed out. Yo, Diddy had that man in the room. Look, yes, I put my ear to the f door and I brought the phone because Diddy started going in overdrive. I ain't know what the f Wait a minute. Did you hear what Meek Mill ex-bodyguard said? He said the champagne was spiked. He said everybody was passed out. He's wandering around the house. And that's when you hear Meek Mill screaming and yelling as Diddy is pounding on him. Now, let me say this for the record. I don't care what the sexual orientation of Diddy is. I don't care if Meek Mill rolls that way. But Meek, if your champagne has been spiked and Diddy went to pound town on your ass, then you can potentially be a victim. I'm not saying it's true. I'm just saying, if you're ashamed of it, we're not about victim shaming. If you was drinking with Diddy and you woke up with a sore ass, it's a possibility that you could have been taken advantage of. Could you hear your bodyguard saying the champagne was spiked? Everybody passed out. Next thing you know, he hear you hollering at the top of your lungs talking about give me more, daddy. And Diddy just went to pound town on you. That seems like a victim. So we're going to say it. if it's a woman, we're going to say it's a victim. So if it's a man, we got to say it's a victim as well. So if Sh Meek Mill champagne was spiked and Diddy went to pound town on him, Meek Mill is still a victim. Meek Mill, there's nothing to be ashamed of. That's all I'm saying. You ain't got to lie. You ain't got to deny. Say, damn it, I'm a victim. Yes, I was drinking with Diddy. I woke up with a so ass. I had to soak it in the pool. That's all you got to say, me. But let's continue. What's going on? But I just heard balls slapping against cheeks. I heard niggas struggling to take. I heard niggas being like, yeah, daddy. Like when, when, I, when, when he started all that daddy this and daddy that. And then I heard some hollering and struggling. Like, yeah, I kept the phone there. And I recorded all that shit because I was like, this nigga did he so I'm finna, finna put the squeeze on and get me now who believes the bodyguard who believes his account of the story cause he's saying everybody drunk the champagne but him he don't drink he's saying the champagne was spiked Everybody in the party is passed out, except Diddy and Meek Mill he's wondering the hallway all of a sudden he hear Meek Mill screaming Dad, he hear the booty clapping sounds, all that. So he decides to put his ear to the door, pulls out his phone and record the audio. And in that audio, I'm not sure if it's Meek, but he's saying it's Meek Mill. In that audio, allegedly Meek Mill is screaming as Diddy is just going to pound town. Like it's, it sounds like a murder in there. And I'm gonna play the audio for you guys. But I'm going to say this, viewer discretion is advised. If you got some shit you need to do today, 
come back to this video because it's going to leave you traumatized. I'm, I'm telling you, this ain't nothing you want to hear. This ain't nothing you seek. But sit, damn it, y'all on the video now, you might well listen to it. I'm going to play it for you guys, and we're going to determine if that's Meek Mill. I don't like Meek Mill to be lied on. I don't want Diddy lied on. So I'm coming with unbiased opinion. We're going to listen to this audio together. And we're going to walk through it. And we're going to determine if that meat that we hear hollering in that audio. And is that Diddy who's having his way with allegedly Meek Mill. Let me play that audio for you guys right now. If you got kids in the room, throw their ass to the other room. That's all I'm saying. They don't need to hear this. But let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Who believes that Meek Mill and Diddy in that audio? Do you believe that the bodyguard actually recorded the audio? I'm gonna say this, just being unbiased, I'm kind of skeptical of this audio because it's too damn clear. Think about what the dude is saying. Diddy lives in a big ass house. That means the bedrooms are big. If you by the door listening, you got your phone out, that audio ain't gonna be that crystal clear. It might be hearing back in the distance, but it seemed like you was right standing next to them niggas. Like you was in the room your damn self recording the audio. That's my only skeptical about the audio. I'ma play it for you guys again. Listen to how clear and how close these guys appear to be to the action. Let me play you guys, let me play it for you guys again. You hear that? Diddy got a big ass house. That means his bedrooms is big. If he got me bent over, and if you at the door, it ain't gonna come out that crystal clear. That's all I'm saying. I could be wrong, but it's just a little too clear to say you just standing at the door listening. Nigga, you might have your ass in that room as well. I'm just saying. Ain't nothing off the table with Diddy. Let me find out. So, and now the next thing we got to address is that Meek Mill we hear hollering in that audio. Because you clearly hear somebody getting bent over. You clearly hear somebody screaming in agony and pleasure, telling him he wants more. Is that Meek Mill? Because I've been reading the comments. I've been looking at the commentary online. Everybody said, yup, that sounds like Meek Mill. That we know Meek Mill talk loud. We know he raps loud. And chances are, if he getting bent over, he probably going to be loud as well. So do you guys think that sounded like Meek Mill? I know it's really hard to tell because you never want to vision somebody with a dick in their ass, right? You, we ain't never, hey, hey, we don't know how you sound with that, right? But we're going to try to listen to this. I'm going to just play it one more time, guys. And we're going to determine... Is that Meek Mill? I want you guys to listen very closely to it. Let's go. Now I'm going to say this. That can pass for Meek Mill. If I'm just being honest, I don't, I'm not saying it's Meek Mill, but I'm saying it can pass for Meek Mill. Hell, it's, it's kind of hard to imagine. I don't know how Meek Mill sound bent over, but that seemed like it could kind of pass for Meek Mill. And on the other hand, the guy who's giving it to him, it seemed like it could pass for Diddy as well. I really don't know because technology is so good nowadays. You got AI-generated voices. Somebody could have reenacted this situation because I'm the bodyguard of Meek Mill and you put out this video. Why now? Why wait till Lil Rob put out his lawsuit before you say something. If you been having a hold of this audio, why are you just now releasing it? That's my question to the bodyguard. That's why I'm skeptical. I know a lot of people want to believe that. I know it makes the story funnier. Because let's be real. If Meek Mill and Diddy did some things together, if it's consensual, that ain't none of my business. I can care less. Now, Meek Mill music won't hit the same no more. After I hear you hollering like that on the video and you telling Diddy give you more, I can't listen to that to your music no more. I don't wanna hear no thug shit from you. I don't wanna hear I got the chopper. You try me, I'ma spray it. Nigga, we heard you hollering, bro. You was a pure bottle. He brought that bitch out you, for real. So me, uh, your rap career is over with. That's you, brother. And that's not you. You need to fight to clear your name. You ain't doing enough for me. You going back and forth with DJ Academics. 
You talking about some people trying to destroy your image? You need to address these allegations. You need to go down swinging. Because I'm going to tell you, if somebody said they got cut to the chase involved in something like this, and they say they allegedly got me on, on audio screaming, nigga, I'm, I'm going down swinging. Hey, hell no, nah, that ain't me. What the hell you talking about? I'm, I'm on every day talking about it. You've been a little too quiet. We ain't forgot about you, me. This ain't going to go away. You might as well address it, brother. And especially after they done raided Diddy House, if you are on any tapes, if you are on any videos, if there are text messages between you and Diddy, and Diddy told me, yeah, Meek, how you like that? Yeah, you were kind of loud last night, brother. Yeah, yeah, we're tight. You know, if, if any of that is in your, on any electronic, Meek, it's over with. It's going to come out. Trust me. It's definitely going to come out, especially that trial. So, hey, man, you might as well get ahead of it. You might as well address it, whether it's true or not. You got to say something, brother. That's all I'm saying. And now another thing people are talking about is that Meek Mill admitted to sleeping with Diddy. That's what everybody's saying. Meek Mill admitted. It, oh, it's true. Meek Mill put it in a song. He said, please forgive me for what I did with Diddy. And I was like, send it to me then. And somebody sent me a song where Meek seemingly addresses the Diddy controversy. We say, please forgive me for what I did with Diddy. And it sounds like me. Now, I don't know if it's a real song. I don't know if it's AI generated. But listen to this, this sound like some shit Meek will say. Let's go. Dream chases, nigga. I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy. Real street nigga forever. Bitch, I'm the king of Philly. You hear him? I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy. Street nigga for life. I'm the king of Philly. Now, if these allegations wasn't here, if Diddy wasn't suspect, if Meek Mill wasn't suspect at the moment, you know, we'll just breeze through that line. Oh, him and Diddy might have been doing some trafficking. You know, they might have been putting in that work. Now that line means totally different. What you mean? God forgive me for what I did with, with Diddy. What you talking about? That's a suspect line. That's if the song is true. Now, I haven't verified that this is a real Meek song, but it sounds just like me. But you know how the internet is. People do AI generated. Technology is too good. You got to really like research. So I'm just saying, but a lot of people is running with the narrative that Meek just admitted to sleeping with Diddy. That's crazy. Um, if that's true, um, Meek, um, brother, uh, you might want to pick another career. Um, the, the rap ain't for you. Nobody wants to be associated with you. You see all your homies is distancing themselves from you. The Instagram pictures started to look smaller and smaller. I mean, you used to have a big group of people with you. Now it's just you solo, bro. That's people distancing themselves. They don't want to be a part of that. Everybody's scared to speak on your behalf. Everybody's scared to defend you. Everybody's scared to defend Diddy. And it makes me wonder, what the hell was going on at them parties? I be hearing people bragging, yeah, I just left a um, Diddy party. All rappers talking about something. I, I linked up with Diddy in New York. Man, I heard he done turned out a couple of rappers. Every rapper who got Diddy name in the lyric, I'm looking at you suspect. Cause you remember Diddy used to be like a hotline Rappers brag about going to New York And linking up with Diddy You remember that a Couple years ago Everybody man I'm in New York Just left Diddy All that If you got a lyric like that Nigga I'm looking at you sideways brother Cause we seen what Diddy did When he allegedly got a hold of Meek Mill It makes me wonder what he did When he got a hold of your ass That's all I'm saying I'm just being real with the situation And it kind of puts everything in perspective now Cause you remember Diddy was tripping out he calling Fabulous Daddy on video. Fabulous was looking uncomfortable. He was calling Meek Mill Daddy on video. And Meek Mill looked totally comfortable with it. Meek Mill sitting in the tub. Diddy's towering over him. And he like, yeah, you go, Daddy. You put in work, Daddy. And Meek Mill didn't even stutter. He, he like, well, somebody called me Daddy. I'm kind of like, oh, well, wait a minute, brother. I'm a grown-ass man. What you mean, Daddy? Address me by my name. But Meek seemed like he was okay with it. And it looked like he was kind of soaking his ass in the pool too, right? It, it looked at, that that interaction was real weird because like Meek Mill was bent over, had his back arched in the pool, and he was real feminine, and Diddy was just towering over him, and Meek had his head leaned to the side, looking up at Diddy. It's like Meek was in love, really. That's how I look at my girl. When I'm in the pool and she's standing up, I'm looking at him, talking to her. I am not talking to a little dude like that. I'm not being in no, no compromised position like that. Nigga, if you're going to talk to me, I'm not going to be sitting in the pool. Nigga, I'm jumping out the pool. We can talk poolside. But you ain't finna be towering over me. And I got my, I'm bent over in the pool with my head to the side. And I'm looking up at you. Nah, that look too much like romance to me. 
So I'm just being real with you guys. Let me play you guys that video so y'all can get a perspective of it. And you tell me what it looked like. Let's go. Okay, son. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. Now, let's stop right there. Now, I'm no body language expert, but you can clearly see that there's tension between Diddy and Meek Mill. Diddy's towering over Meek Mill. He's looking down while talking to him. Meek Mill got his ass out, back arched, with his hand over his shoulder as he looks up at Diddy while Diddy calls him daddy. And it's clear to see that Diddy's drunk. I'm going to tell you what type of person I think Diddy is. I think Diddy the type of dude that can't really hold his liquor. So he get drunk, he might get touchy-feely. He might go around and start calling other men daddy. And if you don't check his ass, he gonna check your ass, if you know what I mean. So it seemed like Diddy the type of dude that might just fuck anything when he drunk. That would have seemed like to me. Now I'm not saying him and Meek Mill has anything going on. I have no proof of that. I'm not saying it's facts. I'm just looking at the evidence and trying to come to the conclusion that I think most people is gonna get to. They gonna say, yeah, there's definitely tension. All their interactions look weird. Meek Mill dressed like Diddy got the same shirt. What two grown men dress like that? I got a best friend. I love him to death. I ain't dressing like that nigga. I wish that nigga would call me. Hey, cut. What you wearing today? That's going. That's throwing our red and black collar shirt. Hell no. What the hell are you talking about? I want to look like you. I love you though, but I don't want to look like you. The only time we gonna dress alike or we are at somebody else's wedding, we gonna have the same tuxedo color. That's the only time I'm dressing with another, dressing like another man. But to see him and Diddy dressing alike and they all hugged up and close by each other, that's just a little too suspect for me. No reason that two grown men should dress alike. I got my style, you got your style. You might like that Versace shirt. I'ma go with the polo, my nigga. That's how I'm that's the type of dude I am. But Meek is clearly not that dude. And that's why he catching hell right now. Cause I don't think he should, I don't think he checked Diddy like he should have. And when this video gets popular, this video goes trending, and they see Meek Mill bent over like that, and Diddy calling him daddy, that just makes everything look worse. And it makes people think, maybe Meek Mill did get pounded out by Diddy. Maybe Diddy did take Meek Mill to Pound Town. Look at their interactions, the dress and the like. Maybe Meek was his bottle. I'm not saying that, but I can see how other people might say that. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts about this whole situation. But I want to know how you guys feel about it. Do you think Diddy and Meek Mill had something going on? Or do you think that leaked audio was fake? You think Meek Mill old bodyguard just chasing clout? Let me know in the comment section. I love you guys. Peace.